Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Hope for Ashbourne, and our second video we've posted, it's called The Light. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and that'll keep you updated of any new additions. I wonder if you like the dark. Here in Ashbourne, we have an old railway tunnel that runs underneath the town, part of the Tissington Trail. I wonder if you've been through it, even with the lights on. It's pretty dark in there, and sometimes there's no lights at all. And I like the rest of the trail, which is beautiful. There's nothing to see, of course, inside the tunnel, just the dark gray bricks of it. And it's so eerie and strange and echoey. Uh, sometimes they even have that noise of the trains running through the tunnel, played on loudspeakers, which gives you a bit of a surprise. And it's always cold, even in the, on a hot summer's day, it's freezing in there. But it's not a very long tunnel, and you can always see the light at both ends of it. If you're still allowed out to go out for some exercise, you can always have a walk or a cycle up along the trail, and maybe you come out on the far side into the sunshine and see the countryside. In the dark, you can't do much, especially if it's pitch black. You need to add a little bit of light to be able to do anything at all. And once there's a bit of light, well then the dark can become a little more exciting perhaps. And whether that's spotting the stars on a nice dark night, or sitting by a campfire and watching the flickering glow of the flames. Even at home, if you've got to stay indoors, you can close the curtains, make a room nice and dark, and build a den, and make it all cosy with some torches and things like that. Some people are even breaking out their colourful Christmas lights to bring a little bit of excitement at this time. A game some of our children like to play is what we call nighttime ninjas. And you build a little obstacle course in a room and then make it really dark and light it up with some torches or bike lights and have some fun. You see, if there's a bit of light, then the dark doesn't seem so bad. But the dark makes us feel afraid. Sometimes it seems so unnerving just because we can't see what we need. And then a little bit of light chases away the darkness. When there's some light, well, the darkness seems to go, of course. We've been looking to find some hope in the Bible. And in the middle of the Bible, there's a book called Psalms. Just one little sentence I'll read for you. It's in Psalm 27, right at the beginning. It says this, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The verse reminds us that God can be our light. Just as World War I was beginning, uh, the British Foreign Secretary, Sir Edward Grey, said this very famous quote, the lamps are going out all over Europe. We shall not see them lit again in our lifetime. People were aware at that horrible time of Europe getting darker. And perhaps in a little way, we feel the same now with this virus outbreak. We feel lots of nice things are now taken away. You can't go out to play. You can't go to the restaurant or a cinema. Even the park is closed. Holidays are canceled. Lots of things you might not be able to buy in the shops. And more seriously than those things, countries' borders are closed. The economy's in trouble. Some people have lost their jobs and some people are run ragged because they're overworked. And people are getting sick. And lots are worried and anxious. And some are dying. It seems to us that the country, that the world is getting darker. So is there any hope? We read before of that verse, that little sentence there in the Psalms, the Lord is my light, I don't need to fear. And what hope that can bring us at this dark time. In another Psalm, Psalm 18, and in Psalm 18, you'll find the little verse number, verse 28, and it says this, you Lord will light my lamp, my God turns my darkness into light. If we're feeling that we're in the dark, maybe we're feeling worried and anxious, we can turn to God. God can turn darkness into light because he's the one who brings light. 
so you can pray to him and God can help us. So children, now perhaps lots of you are off school. If you want to make a little den, you can decorate it with lights, play some games, have some fun exploring light and dark. But there's something for all of us to learn in the Bible from its message of hope. Try and stay safe, everyone. Most of us having to stay at home. But of course, very famously, there was somebody else who called himself the light. That was Jesus, the son of God. He said, I'm the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness. You and I don't have to be in the dark. We don't have to be afraid and anxious. We can discover the light. We can follow Jesus. So find a Bible, see if you've got one on a shelf, or look up one online. For Jesus, the Son of God, came to this world. He lived like us. He knows what life is like. He knows the things we struggle with and we worry about. And rather than be afraid, we can discover that he himself is the light. So I hope you discover that hope that God can bring, the hope for Ashbourne and the hope for the world. Thanks for listening and please click and subscribe and hopefully we'll make a new video soon. Thanks.